What's up everyone? This is SportySpent17 bringing you another video. Today I'm going to be talking about Ochai Abaji. Wow, I'm a Kansas fan? Who knew? I served a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Kansas and there I grew to become fans of the Kansas State football team and the Kansas Bas Jayhawks basketball team. And so I was very excited when the Jazz drafted Ochai Abaji. He has been a stud so far. I left him out of my last video because I wanted to just have a player spotlight video on him. At the beginning of the season, he didn't really play too much, but towards the end of the season, he's been hitting so many clutch three-pointers when we needed him, just like yesterday against the Brooklyn Nets. He hit a really clutch three-point shot. I'm so happy that he's on this team. I'm so glad that we got him from Cleveland along with Lowry Marketing. You know how much I love Lowry Marketing. Let's take a deeper look into Ochai Abaji's stats from this year, how they compare towards the end of the season to the first of the season. All right, let's dive into his college stats first. He played four seasons at Kansas. First year, he started with 8.5 points per game, then 10, then 14. And his final season at Kansas, he ended with 18 points per game and a national championship with the Jayhawks. So far this NBA season, Ochai Baji has played 55 games with the Utah Jazz and has started in 18 of them, well averaging 7.2 points per game. Now, he has been developing a lot since the beginning of the season. His debut game, he showed up against the Denver Nuggets. He played a few minutes, but he didn't score any points. His first points scored were a couple weeks later against the Denver Nuggets where he scored nine points. Let's dive in towards the end of the season. The past four games, he had a 20 point game, a nine point game, 10 point game, a 12 point game, and a 19 point game. So he has been a consistent role player and he's really growing since Jordan Clarkson has been out. He has been taking his role, he's doing it very well, especially with all these clutch three pointers that he had, especially like this one right here that I'm gonna show from last night's game. Good job, Oshai. He's only had two 20 plus point games this season, but I think that he's going to improve in the off season and have an awesome sophomore season. I think a big reason of this is Jordan Clarkson will not be with the Utah Jazz next year, in my opinion, and he will take the role of Jordan Clarkson as a three point shooter, but also take up kind of the, the third point guard role. Cause I feel like he, I think that he can play some point guard position. He's a good ball handler. And he, can, he has had some awesome passes through this season, and it has been really cool to see him grow in his passing. Ochai has so much potential. I was saying in my video that Taylor Horton Tucker could be a potential all-star if he keeps up with the way that he's playing right now. Larry Markin is already an all-star starter, and I think that he's gonna be able to repeat that in the next throughout the next few years. Walker Kessler could be an all-star, Ochai Abaji. If he's able to get more, more multiple 20-point games, pass the ball, maybe raise his assists per games a little bit, he has potential to be close to an all-star, kind of like what Jordan Clarkson is, but maybe a little bit smarter player. That That is something that I think is gonna be really, that could be really good with Ochai. It's just awesome that we have him on the team. Ochai Abaji came with our market in, in the Donovan Mitchell trade, and we got three first round picks out of that. Trading away Donovan Mitchell for a superstar, I believe Larry Marketing will be a superstar in the next few years. Larry Marketing can always drive it down in the middle. If he's clobbered, he can pass it out to Ochai Baji in the wing. And Ochai Baji hits those shots really good. He seems to be a very clutch player. He's been in big moments really big moments. I mean, he won the national championship with the Jayhawks last year and they were down by like 20 points and he helped them come back. So having Ochai Baji on the Utah Jazz is something that is really good and will be really awesome. So I'm really glad that we have Ochai on the team. These are just my thoughts. Uh, there could be, he could always just turn into a Rodney Hood. I don't think that he will be, but I really don't want him to end up being like Rodney Hood, who had an okay rookie season, had some glimpses. But I think that the the way that Don, the way that Ochai Abaji has developed is different than how they developed Rodney Hood. So I think that Ochai Abaji, he stays with the Jazz and he's gonna help him win the finals if we get this rebuild right. Uh, we are still missing a few pieces. We're gathering pieces, THT, Ochai, Colin Sexton, Larry Marketing, Walker Kessler. Those are kind of our core rebuild pieces right now. And we're gonna add more towards the end of the season since we are now number nine. We have the ninth worst record in the NBA. So that means we have the ninth most percentage chance of getting the first 
pick overall. I have a ton of different thoughts about Victor Webinyama. I think that he could be very injury prone. Definitely a special talent, but I'm okay with the Jazz passing up on him because he could turn into just a Chet Holmgren. I'm excited about this rebuild. I'm excited to have Ochai in this rebuild. So anyway, this has been Sporty Spent 17 bringing you another video with my Kansas gear. Yeah, I lived in Kansas, um, so I'm I call myself not a bandwagon, but if you think I am, then uh, you can leave a like so I know that you're not a bandwagon, I guess. Please consider subscribing. It will mean a lot, and hope to see you guys later. This has been Boris Spence. Pew, pew, pew.